Hi, my name is Karthik. I am a web developer and the founder of WPAlgorithm.com. In this video, I'll show you how to add Google Analytics to your WordPress website. Well, why do you even need it? Well, the first thing is you need to understand your audience, how they're interacting on your website and what are the pages that are most visited so that you can optimize those pages even further. And if your site is an e-commerce site, this is a must. It's quite easy. I'll discuss two methods in which you can do it. One is by using a free plugin by the folks behind Google itself. And the second one, if you have Elementor Pro, you know that you can do sidebar, Ajax load more design and a lot more. And you can add your Google Analytics code right into Elementor Pro. If you don't have Elementor Pro, you can get it from the link in the description. But first, let's see how Google Analytics can help us measure things on our website a way in which we can understand our website better and our audience better. So let's start with method one, which is by installing a plugin by Google called Google Sidekit. Now head over to plugins on the left hand side of your dashboard. Click on add new and search for Sidekit. It's this one by Google over 1 million installs. Just click on install now. Once the plugin is installed, just we just need to activate it. Now it will give a prompt to start setup. Just click on start setup. Now just check this box and click on sign in with Google. And you just need to sign in with an existing Google account. So just click on sign in with Google. Now select one of the accounts that you have. I'm going to select an account. And it gives you all these check boxes. I'll just check all of them since it's by Google. It's safe. Google can manage Google data. Not a problem. I'll just click on continue. I'll click on proceed. Now it also adds Google console, which essentially tells Google that your website is online and anyone with a Google search engine can access it. So just click on allow. So this is essentially going to make sure that it's going to do that. Again, click on add site. It's going to add it to search console before we can do anything. Click on go to my dashboard and it takes you back to your dashboard. Just like that, you don't have to fiddle with anything. Now, search console is set up, meaning anyone who performs a Google search will eventually be able to find your website, which is great. If you have AdSense, you can also connect that service. I'll just click on analytics, click on connect service. I'll just click my Google email address. I'll just click on continue. Just give it all the access that it needs. And within a few minutes, it should be up and running. Just wait for it. I'll just pick an account. Click on configure. Click on proceed. And just like that, Google Analytics is connected. You just need to allow things, right? Once the site is old enough, maybe within a day or so, you'll start seeing analytics on your dashboard. So all of your data will be shown here and you will also be able to find which are the pages that are most visited on your website. And there's also a dashboard entry called analytics. You can simply click that and it will show you complete statistics that you need to know. Now this is a brand new site. I sh I'll show you how it looks on an old site. So this is the analytics of my WPAlgorithm.com website. It shows my users by country, activity, and all that stuff. You can see which are the pages that are most viewed, conversions, page view, user engagement, and a whole lot of stuff. And this is basically what you'll see in the analytics dashboard in here. I have my analytics installed separately. Now I'm going to show you the second method in which you can do this. And it's quite simple, which is by using Elementor Pro. Now, you don't need this plugin if you have Elementor Pro. But the downside is that you need to go to analytics.google.com to view your analytics. If you're okay with that, all you need to do is to go to Elementor, click on custom code, just click on add new and just call it analytics code. Location, you can select head. Priority, just leave it at one because we want this code to be loaded properly measured. Just publish this, 
click on entire site save and close now we just need to put some code in this we need to put the code and you can get the code from in here so on the left hand side i'll just click on admin we just need to create a property and just give it a name of your website you can also pick time zone you can also pick currency i'll just pick us dollar just for the time sake i'll just click on next you can tell google what kind of business it is you can pick small or if yours is a woocommerce site with so many people you can pick that and you can check all the things that you want to measure on your site i just want to measure a couple of things and just click on create and that will create your property click on web let's add a website and that is digitalalgorithm.com which is the same website that i'm demoing this whole thing i just name it da web let's click on create stream and that should give us just click on this global site tag and this is the code that you need to put just copy this code and paste it in here just like that and just hit publish and that should also connect google analytics to your this website this is a bit more on the difficult side but with google site kit you can do it right away but again using this method the only plus of using this method is that you're not installing another plugin if you already have elementor you're basically going to put some code and that's going to track analytics on your wordpress website so these are the two methods to install google analytics on your wordpress website thank you so much for watching that's it for this video if you want to learn more things wordpress head over to wordpress tutorial for beginners playlist on this channel subscribe give this video a thumbs up if it helped you in achieving something and i'll see you in the next one until then peace